seconds, uh, what you're looking at is a blocker section of track. And I've modified it. And the reason I've done this is I have a couple of post-war engines and I also have a Lion Chief. And I would like to at least have the post-war engines sitting on the same track, <clears throat> even though I can't run them at the same time as the Lion Chief, or have one post-war um, sitting on the track and run the other post-war. So uh, what I've done is I've taken a, um, a blocker sec section of the track, and instead of simply removing the middle section, which would remove the power, I wired in a switch. Now I saw this on the internet, um, somebody's already done that part before. What I haven't seen, and uh, the next step that I've taken it to, is I've also wired in an LED. I have taken and wired one side to the outside rail and the other side to the inside rail on the section that will be without power whenever I want it to be. That way when I flip the switch to turn off power to this section and whatever is behind it, I can know because the LED will go out. The LED will be powered on when I have that section turned on. That way it's, you know, even if I don't have something sitting on that section of track, I know ahead of time whether or not I've got power to that section of track. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys out with your modeling. Um, I haven't actually uh, hot glued it in, but that's how I'm going to secure everything is hot glue. Uh, I wanted to leave a little bit more open uh, just so that you could see. And it's a little dark, but uh, you can see the LED shining brightly there. Uh, this is the after, obviously. Um, I used the block section of track right there, Lionel, that I modified so that I can create a dead section anytime I want by flipping the switch. Got it from my friends over at Midwest Rail Junction. Give them a visit if you get a chance. And so what happens is when I flip the switch, the LED obviously will go out, and then everything after that section will go dead. So you'll see that these cars no longer have power, but the cars in front of them do. And if I flip the switch again, the cars are lit again. So that way I can create a dead section anytime I want to store things like lighted, light, lighted cars, or also um, things like post war engines. Uh, this, all I have right now is a Lion Chief Polar Express, but my father-in-law is bringing over his post-war equipment at some point, and we will run it on this layout again. It's very, very basic at the moment, but I was just testing out the theory, uh, you know, as I begin to create my track. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helps somebody else in need. Good night.